Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawzia Zainal, marking the International Day of Parliamentarism. The Speaker lauded the innumerable achievements attained by Bahrain under His Majesty the King's leadership and thanks to His Majesty's support for the Legislative Authority since the launch of the Reform Comprehensive and Sustainable Development March, which contributed to bringing about a qualitative leap in the Kingdom's democratic march through its adoption of principles that consolidate the state of law and institutions which is built on modern constitutional basis. She affirmed that the constitutional amendments that stemmed from the National Action Charter had launched a new era of political and democratic reforms within the framework of a modern constitutional monarch and the rule of law on the basis of justice and transparency. Praying to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with abundant health and happiness and Bahrain with further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today received a cable of congratulations from the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, marking the International Day of Parliamentarism, observed worldwide every 30th of June. Al Saleh extended sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his constant follow up on the work of the Shura Council in order to achieve the interests of Bahraini people and continue the democratic and progress march during His Majesty's prosperous era. He asserted that the celebration of the International Day of uh, parliamentarism is a global recognition of the pivotal role played by parliaments being among the essential pillars of democracy. He pledged that the Shura Council will continue assuming its role in strengthening the pillars of democracy, developing policies and legislations that enhance the kingdom's progress and consolidate the principles of coexistence, tolerance and harmony in order to prioritize national interest and meet the aspirations of the Bahraini people. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless his majesty to see the king with abundant health and Bahrain with everlasting progress. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a remote meeting with the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, the SCH, and Head of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Health Faiq bin Saeed Al Saleh, and members of the Board of Trustees of Primary Healthcare Centers. During the meeting, His Royal Highness noted that the COVID-19 pandemic highlights the importance of the continued development of the Kingdom's healthcare and epidemic infrastructure. His Royal Highness noted that continued development of healthcare services will help ensure Bahrain protect the gains made in the medical sector, further improve its quality of services and strengthen the sector's emergency response preparedness. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the national healthcare sector's ability to cope with the demands of COVID-19 throughout the pandemic. He commended the dedication of all who worked on providing around-the-clock services across all nine of the kingdom's health sectors and uh, highlighted the need to continue to support the SCH and the Ministry of Health as it continues to implement forward-looking health initiatives. His Royal Highness concluded by extending appreciation to citizens and residents for staying vigilant and following precautionary measures, getting vaccinated and ensuring endurance as the world address unprecedented challenges. For their part, the attendees expressed their appreciation for His Royal Highness's support towards the enhancement of the health and well-being of all Bahrainis by ensuring the provision of effective health care services. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Speaker of the Council of Representatives Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal to commemorate the International Day of Parliament. In the cable, the Speaker commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's ongoing support towards Bahrain's development and progress, as well as the government's support of the legislative branch. She also commended His Royal Highness's implementation of a wide range of development initiatives, which will enhance Bahrain's position amongst other highly developed nations. The speaker concluded the cable by expressing confidence in the strengthened cohesion between the legislative and executive branches' ability to deliver on citizens' ambitious development aspirations. 
There was His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, to commemorate International Day of Parliament. In the cable, the Chairman commended His Royal Highness's support for the strengthened cohesion between the legislative and executive branches, noting that this strong cooperation continues to further development and progress under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has extended sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, marking His Majesty's order to name the road adjacent to the headquarters of the Mharra Club after the late player of the national football team and Mharra Club, Ahmed bin Salmin. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the royal orders reflect His Majesty the King's appreciation for prominent Bahraini personalities who have been dedicated to serving the kingdom and raising its banners at various gatherings, which applies to the late Ahmed bin Salmin, who was a sports legend with innumerable football successes and achievements. His Highness affirmed that the late Ahmed bin Salmin has left a rich football legacy and a successful football career that began in the 1950s, noting that his achievements and legacy entitle him to be a role model and a source of inspiration for present and future generations. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that Bahrain is always proud of its citizens who have left a clear imprint and remarkable legacy, adding that the late Ahmed bin Salmin was among the pioneers of football in Bahrain and that his achievements will always be remembered. His Highness offered profound condolences to the deceased family and relatives praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council, the HEC, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, chaired the Council's meeting, which was held remotely. The Secretary General of the HEC, Sheikh Arana bin Isa bin Daij Al Khalifa, as well as several HEC members, participated in the meeting. The members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the issuance of the Royal Order. Order restructuring the council. They affirmed their keenness on implementing the directives of the leaderships to further develop all aspects of education. The council members expressed thanks to the former members and secretary general and welcomed the newly appointed secretary general. The council also reviewed the results of the kingdom in a study prepared by the UNESCO Institute for Statistics on the impact of COVID-19 on education around the world. The kingdom achieved good results in the pre-pandemic period and the study showcased the limited impact of the pandemic on education in the kingdom. The UNESCO Institute for Statistics expects the educational performance in the kingdom to remain among the best in the Arab world and that Bahrain will continue its leadership in this field should the development rate of the previous years sustain in the upcoming years. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Hamedan, patronised a forum remotely titled The Coronavirus Pandemic Challenges and Opportunities. He affirmed the importance of turning the repercussions of the pandemic in the training field into opportunities for development, as this is key to supplying the labour market with qualified Bahraini caterers. He affirmed that training institutions in the private sector should keep up with the technological advances and the methods of training, particularly in light of the increasing reliance on modern technologies in various productive sectors. Hameda noted that the pandemic has helped create numerous unconventional methods of training and that the ministry has been keeping up with that through a series of procedures. The Labour Ministry has also cooperated with the Labour Fund Temkin in training more than 4,000 job seekers. The ministry aims to train 10,000 job seekers by the end of 2021. It also signed 19 MOUs to ensure the continuity of training amidst such exceptional circumstances. An implementation of the development plan pursued by the Kingdom, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning sets a strategic plan that includes major objectives, including the establishment and development of sewage networks in all regions, especially in the capital governorate. The Ministry of Works has completed the project of the sewage network and the sewage transmission line from Jafer to Ghraifa at a rate of 60%. This project is within the development of Al-Fatah Street, which aims to develop the main sewage water line 
line extending from Jafer to Gharifa, which will increase the capacity by building a new larger and deeper main transmission line. The project will contribute to alleviating pressure on the existing sewage network in Jafer. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,054,837 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 979,113 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 3,766 with 576 recoveries, 230 registered new cases and three deaths. 114 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 107 are contacts of active cases and nine are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the disease and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.